Big change is coming in downtown Dallas. The 45-year-old Greyhound bus terminal right there on Lamar Street is closing. It is an interstate transfer point for bus passengers. But Dallas officials say they are working with Greyhound to be sure people are not just left on the street. Ken Kaltoff has the story. Passenger Charlie Marie says she's used the Dallas Greyhound Terminal dozens of times on trips across America and would not want to do without it on a transfer layover. Yeah, you can be out here for hours and hours. That would, from getting wet and freezing in the rain to getting snatched up um, or hurt, robbed, whatever. Greyhound's lease on the Dallas Terminal, it sold to investors, expires in October. The Dallas Morning News reports it has happened in other Greyhound cities. You know, in other metro areas, areas, terminal closures, they've led carriers to switch to curbside service or move terminals to suburban areas that are, you know, pretty far from public transit. Other transportation people count on the downtown terminal, too. It's not only taxi. I mean, a lot of Uber drivers, they make money here. The Greyhound city manager on duty declined to let us take pictures inside, but I went in and it was very busy. The City Council Transportation Committee chairman says Dallas passengers will not be left on the curb. The goal is to make sure it's not overlooked and people aren't ending up on the street just kicked off of their bus, you know, wherever, and they're dropping them off, and that's why we've been working together. A Greyhound statement says we have no plans to end our service in Dallas, and our goal is to identify a new terminal location as soon as possible. The Eddie Bernice Johnson Rail Terminal, a few blocks away, could be an option. With streetcar expansion and maybe high-speed rail, Dallas already plans to make it a better ground transportation hub. I think that's a great idea. Lots of different options, and we're looking at everything to see what makes the most sense. All involved tell us there will be another Greyhound station. In Dallas, Ken Kaltoff, NBC5. Property records say the current Dallas Greyhound Terminal was built in 1979.